Hello, everyone. So earlier today, um, you in our live session, we went over what a doodle sheet is. I showed you how to get to the doodle sheet um, Google Drive assignment. And you guys also filled out A through G on the portions that you guys could do together. So you discussed it together, you came up with an idea and you wrote something down. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to go over the what scientists think portion. So for box A, what is a hypothesis? So for this section, you went through and you checked off all of the things that you thought were uh, a part of a hypothesis, essentially. And these are the correct answers. So what you're going to do on your active, on, I'm so sorry, on your doodle sheet Google assignment is you're going to highlight the text that is correct. So you should have highlighted a tentative explanation, a statement that can be tested, a statement that may lead to a prediction or a statement that may guide an investigation. So a hypothesis is all of those things. An hypothesis is not a prediction or an educated guess. And not all investigations can begin with the, or not all investigations begin with hypothesis. Sometimes a hypothesis will come along later. Um, so make sure you highlight all of those options that you that are correct. Box B, hypothesis is a tentative statement, I'm so sorry, a tentative explanation that can be tested and may lead to a prediction and guide an investigation. So please write that down. If I am talking too fast and you need to pause this, please do. Um, I'm going at my own pace. If you need to pause this and take more time to write this down, please do it. Um, so what scientists think scientific theories are. So in box C, they're going to be inferred explanations, which are strongly supported by evidence. They've been tested many times and used to make predictions based on observations. For, so for something to be a scientific theory, it's different than, oh, I have a theory about this. A scientific theory is something that has years and years of data supporting it. Now, we tend to use scientific theories because at the end of the day, we will never have a guidebook that tells us this is the correct answer. As time goes on, there can be evidence that points to a different direction for all of our official scientific theories. However, at this point in time, all of the evidence leads to this being the truth, as accurate as possible. So that is what what scientists think of scientific theories. Once again, if you need more time to copy these into your Google Drive uh, doodle sheet handout, um, feel free to press pause. So what scientists think doing science is. So scientists think doing science is observing a phenomenon and asking questions about it. We see something happening, much like in the BTB demo that we did, where we saw that when we blew bubbles into the BTB and water solution, it changed color. We developed models to explain that. So in this instance, we developed models to explain it by running different scenarios. Was it heat? Was it from oxygen? Unfortunately, we can't test for oxygen. Um, was it because of the introduction of CO2? Um, is there only one way to do science? Absolutely not. Science is about answering questions. And they use all sorts of different met methods to answer different questions. Science, science is such a broad, there's so many different types of science that there is no, not going to be a single way to do anything right. Um, a scientist who's investigating um, space theory will be doing different processes than a scientist who is investigating a marine biology issue. So... Each different scientist will definitely do things a different way, but the end goal was that they are trying, they're observing a phenomenon and then they're asking questions about it and creating models to try and answer that question. Um, what scientists think scientific models are. So scientific models are a set of ideas to help explain a phenomenon. Um, scientific models are going to be simple based on meaningful data and patterns used to make predictions, and they're going to plaus be plausible, meaning realistic. So the conditions of the model are going to be as closely, uh, are going to closely resemble the incidence of the phenomenon that they're observing as possible. Um, a model should not be judged on right or wrong, but on how well it fits the criteria. Um, the reason for this is that even if there's a wrong model, it still provides information. 
if a model doesn't work the way the phenomenon we're exploring works, then okay, we learned that that is not the right way to do this. And now we have, we've checked something off and now we have a new idea that we can explore knowing that, okay, that's wrong. We don't need to worry about that. Now we need to, now we have one less thing to explore. Um, so there are gonna be different types of models. Long story short, models are going to be um, physical or visual representations of an explored phenomenon. So for example, in this instance, we have a digital model of what was happening in this Hurricane Floyd. So we see all of these arrows indicating uh, wind, as well as up here and heat rising. We see that. This is a cell model. This is an osmosis model. These are visual representations of a, of a phenomenon. What scientists think observations are. So long story short, observations are going to be data collection. So there are different types of data collection that we'll get into in just a second. Um, data collection, oops. Sorry, I guess you guys don't need, we're not advanced, but I wouldn't need to do that. Um, okay, guys, so um, yay, you've made it through your first Screencastify. If you need to go rewind, pause, and jot down some notes, you are completely, you are welcome to do that. Um, if you want to look on the original PowerPoint, the original PowerPoint is linked on the agenda. It is the slide that says Doodle Sheet Lecture, and if you notice the word lecture has an underline, Click on that and that will take you to this exact same PowerPoint that I was lecturing from. Um, this is due Wednesday at 11.59 p.m. So you have two days to get this done. And I will see you guys tomorrow and I hope you have a very nice day.